Hello, lovelies. So we've got the banner for Mythic Ashura. We're gonna go ahead and summon on this bad girl. All I really want is just one copy of Ashura. So we're gonna summon until I either get one copy of her or my orbs run out. And there's also some other goodies on colorless like Legendary Corin as well as Legendary Claude. All right, so our free summon of the day, we got ourselves a copy of Linhart. Let me know in the comments section what you guys got on your free summon of this banner. But anyways, as far as Ashura goes, what is there to really say? She was one of the most long-awaited heroes to get released, and we finally have her. So definitely <laughs> shout out to that. If you are a Tellius fan, you know how powerful she is. I'm just a little upset with the way that they built her. Not to say she's bad, because obviously she's really good. She's basically a Blade Tome unit without any of the weaknesses of Blade Tome units. Like, she doesn't have to worry about panic effects, or she doesn't have to worry about lull skills even, because she's not using her own stat bonuses. She's using the ally stat bonuses to gain her Blade Tome effect. So if you have a lull skill and you're going up against Ashura, that's not going to stop her from gaining the bonus damage. So it's a really cheap way to get some Blade Tome power. But Ashura herself wasn't really built in the way that I would have thought. Because in Radiant Dawn, she just sits there without moving. So you would think she might be an armored unit. And she has such good bulk in that game. It takes many hits for you to be able to finally bring her down. But in this game, they completely went against that and they just made her a glass cannon unit. So I'm not really sure what the thought process was behind that. <laughs> but they did make her very good, so we can't really complain, I guess. Okay, so otherwise, Legendary Claude would be great to get on this banner, because I don't have him yet. And he is very, very OP. So he'll be good for Arena Assault, or maybe even Aether Raids. If he's a bonus, I can just stick him on my team and have him get some easy KOs. And then Legendary Corin, of course, she's got Distant Counter and Joint Drive Attack. So she'll be really good fodder for us to get here. Alright, so far we are Sans 5 Star, but we haven't used too many orbs. I think I started on like 235 or 225-ish. Yeah, and then as for other colors, there's green, which has Dadu. And that would be great because he has a save skill. There's also... Triandra and Freya, so those would be not too shabby to pull as well. Maybe go for some merges on them, I would say, because they are mythic heroes for offense, and the merges there can really help your score out. Okay, there's a Gordon. All right, we're on 9% rates here. Yeah, so pretty much besides colorless and green, I'm not really too interested in any of the other colors. I guess red could be okay if you don't have legendary Eliwood. He definitely got a lot better with the introduction of Ashura. Because now you don't really have to worry about panic. So him granting bonus doubler is actually pretty clutch again. But other than that, I wouldn't really put too much stress in red right now. Oh, ho hold on. Actually, does Azel have... I think Azel has the dual force skill for red infantry. Let me just double check. It might be either him or Asbel. I don't remember. Let me just go ahead and check. Yeah, he does have the dual four. Okay. So maybe that could be worth it if you want to pick that up. But I don't know. I would just say go for colorless if you're going to summon on this banner. Really, the main prize here is Ashura. All right, we got some smoke there. Could be some fire. Or... <laughs> Could be a forest. Hey, a forest fire, you don't want that to happen, so... <laughs> Maybe it's good that didn't happen. Oh, here's some other news. I don't know if you guys play Pokemon Masters, but... Today we got Groudon in that game. And maybe I should have re recorded my summoning session in there, because it was actually pretty fire. I did all of the rounds that they let you do to get the coins and the five-star tickets and all those bonus rewards. And by the time I had finished doing that, I ended up getting two copies of Groudon and then 
like three copies of May, which is really good. Especially if I can get Kyogre when he comes out. So, <laughs> yeah, like I said, I don't know how many of you play Pokemon Masters, but it's definitely getting a lot better. I remember when the game came out, it was pretty dry, but they are adding a lot more content to it, so it's getting a lot more fun now. We also had a raid not too long ago. The first of its kind, the first type of event like that. So, they're trying. It's definitely picking up. Especially if you're a fan of Pokemon, then I would recommend it. We also have the DP remakes on the horizon coming out soon. I think they're slated for release in November. So definitely got to pick those up. Diamond and Pearl, here's a fun fact for you guys. Diamond and Pearl were actually the very first games I ever imported when they first came out. So that was back in 2006. And I got them on DS because, of course, the Nintendo DS wasn't really region locked. Okay, here's our first non-colorless pull. Alright, and thankfully we didn't get a 5-star there. That would have sucked if we pulled a 5-star and broke the pity. Hold on, do we have the special rates on here? Yeah, we do have special rate 4-stars. We've just gotten absolutely nothing here. This is not going too great, to say the least. Alright, if we're going to get a 5-star on green, I would like it to be to do. Alright, but we got Lex Luthor instead. He's not too bad. I'll definitely be able to go for him as a merge project. And we got Plus Attack, which is probably his best Ivies, so we'll lock him up. Yeah, he's got the Brave Axe Perf Weapon, which is pretty good. So if you get him to max merges, he's going to be pretty solid. Definitely not too bad for an Axe Cab. Okay, there we go. Finally, we got a 5-star, and our first 5-star is going to be Legendary Claude. Pretty good. Let's take a look at his IVs. Okay, plus attack, minus HP. I'll take that. Definitely not complaining with plus attack. Alright, yeah, so this guy's got the catch skill for fodder, or you could just keep it. Fallen Star, which is stupid. And then Speed and Defense Rain. Yeah, so you could use him as a fodder pull if you wanted, but I would just say keep him. Especially if you only have one copy. Alright, here's some more smoke. And we got the Candy Thief. Okay. Alright, hopefully we can get another 5 star here, because we are on 10%. Or maybe even the special rate, let's see. All right, we got Clarine, sure. I'll take Clarine. Yeah, Clarine is my favorite healer from Fire Emblem 6. <laughs> but we just we just finished that Tempest Trial with the Fire Emblem 6 Brides. And Saul was like... What was he, like the priest that was doing all the weddings? And then he got rushed by all the girls afterwards because they wanted to get some good luck from him. Pretty funky story there, but it's too bad we didn't get a Bride Dorothy. That would have been awesome. Alright, we got the Angry Ninja Saizo, more like the Angry Bird. Alright, how many orbs am I actually willing to go for Asherah here? Oh man, we only got one 5 star and like half of my starting orbs. That's not good. Yeah, we're getting killed on this banner, but I guess... Let's just keep going. Right, I'm going to try to speed up the summons here because we don't need to just drag this out any much longer than this. Alright, come on, Ashura. We are getting very lucky with the colorless orbs, though. I'll admit to that. It's just too bad that we only got one five-star here. Alright, this is Legault. Pretty good. Attack Tactic is definitely coming back into play with Ashura negating penalties from Panic. Right, how many Gaiuses are we going to get today? Come on. That's like the fifth Gaius we pulled here. Alright, come on, Ashura. I hope this isn't going to be another Altina situation. Unfortunately, I wasn't 
still doing YouTube when Altina came out, so you guys didn't get to see how nuts I went for her. I must have did like 300 orbs before I got one copy, though. It was pretty degrading, so... Yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen here. But it looks like that's exactly what's gonna happen, so... Oh man, it's just these Tellius babes. They just don't like me. Alright, there's another Claude. We'll take another Claude. Minus H or minus speed plus HP. I guess we can just merge him into the other one to get rid of the minus HP and just be plus attack. Yeah, with double claws, I'll definitely take double. Cl oh, wow. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I was about to say, I, like, I don't mind ending with double claws if we're not going to get anyone else. But I spoke too soon. So there we go. We got our girl Ashera. Look at this, minus speed plus defense. It's like, it's like they knew. <laughs> they knew how I wanted to build Ashera. I wanted her to be bulkier than being speedy. So the game is like, okay, Tacho, you wanted to build her with defense, then here you go. All right, so funny enough, she does have a super boon in defense, despite having like a freaking base 15 defense. So we'll take that. All right, yeah, she's real good. Attack and res ideal, and then combine that with lull, speed, and res, and orders restraint. You're really not going to be able to beat her with magic. So I guess that's the way they tried to balance her, was giving her such low defense that she'd at least have some kind of weakness. But otherwise, this is a really great mythic hero. First one to give res blessings on Astra Season as well, which is very good. So that's going to wrap us up for the summons today. I'm glad I was able to actually get her, because for a second there, I was kind of sweating. But we did get Ashura, so that's good enough for me. This is your boy Tacho signing out. Let me know in the comments section down below what your summons were on this banner. Hopefully you guys had much better luck than I did. But that's all for today. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch y'all again on the flip side.